studies find kids who read 20 minutes every day perform better on both reading and math tests than those who read less. But finding a great book can be a challenge. So we have Betty McDonald, a librarian. She's joining Hi. me. Uh, tonight with uh, some suggestions for teens or tweens actually. Yes, so we're tweens. talking fourth, fifth, sixth grade? Yes. Okay. Yes. And why is it so hard to find books for this age group? Well, these kids are busy, mm -hmm. number one. But um, some kids are reading way more than I'm reading, mm -hmm. and then other kids are not reading at all. And so the challenge is to find out what this child needs. And so it's very specific. And you never yeah. want it to be a chore, right? That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, tell me about these books that you brought today. Well, I've been reading uh, Stuart Gibbs, mm -hmm. and his newest one is The Space Case. And it's a fabulous book because it takes place in 2041. Oh, very and cool. And so Dash Gibson is a 12-year-old, and he's uh, living on Moon Base Alpha, which is the first lunar out uh, in a, a society. And so... Um, it sounds like Interstellar, the movie that just recently well, I came know. out. <laughs> and so uh, it's like 20 people are living on the moon, and then one day someone dies. Oh. And so um, Dash is convinced it was not an accident. And so he is going to solve this case. Okay, so great very little cool. mystery. And tell me um, about these other three. This one is Belly Up, and um, Teddy Fitzroy lives uh, in in a place called Fun Jungle. It's a huge Texas theme park. And uh, he kind of gets in trouble. But. Um, he, uh, the hippo dies one day, and the hippo is the mascot. A lot of death in these books. Uh, there is, there is. <laughs> and these are boys, but there are girls involved, too. So okay. these are great for boys and girls. Okay. Anyway, so he's solving a mystery here at Fun Jungle. And then this is the sequel where the koala goes missing. And so, but he is the prime suspect. So, uh, so that is the sequel. And then this is one I actually haven't read, but it's a spy school one. And the third one is coming out in April. And it's called Evil Spy School. So very cool. Yeah. So if people want information on these books and mm -hmm. so many others, uh, just go to the website ppld.org, and you can check books out online and everything. It's a great website. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Lauren.